Uh, first, though, the ongoing fight against the H1N1 flu this morning. America's biggest immunization campaign in history is underway. So we have a look at exactly how it's being carried out all over the country. Call it a day in the life of the H1N1 vaccine. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with more. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. The government has ordered 250 million doses of the H1N1 vaccine, which it anticipates will be enough to cover demand in the United States. But the CDC admits that getting the vaccine out will be bumpy at first. As 27 states report widespread activity of influenza, the long-awaited H1N1 vaccine is rolling out. One, two, three, squirt. Over 2.2 million doses have been ordered by every state, but who gets those vaccines and when is up to individual states. The nasal spray variety available now is only for healthy people between the ages of 2 and 49 and will most likely be given first to those in the priority group that includes healthcare workers, children, and people who care for children. As the vaccine rolls out, we checked out three different hotspots to see what's going on with H1N1 across the country. Terrell Brown is in New York City. We are inside the Montefiore Medical Center. It's one of the first hospitals in New York City to receive the H1N1 vaccine. The hospital ordered 120,000 doses of the vaccine. So far, 500 doses of the nasal spray have arrived. Yesterday, two children were among the first to receive the vaccine. With only a handful of doses available, truth of the matter is most healthy people will have to wait. While waiting for the vaccine, Dr. Pat Crocker reports that hundreds have fallen ill in Austin, Texas. The activities remained high. We've been seeing about 350 to 400 patients daily. We ultimately had to open this extra tent because of the high uh, volume of patients we've been seeing locally. And it allows us to see patients a little quicker and see a higher volume instead of taking them into the emergency department. And as Mark Strassman reports from Oklahoma City, the consequences of H1N1 can be dire. This is the intensive care unit at Oklahoma City's Children's Hospital. Up here, H1N1 has become a life and death fight. Three kids sick with the virus are critically ill up here. We're, we're going to fight this together. Two of them are improving, but the third could go either way. Oklahoma has become one of the state's hardest hit by H1N1. The virus has doubled the everyday caseload in the hospital's emergency room and changed the way this hospital does business. But this flu season is anything but business as usual, and we're just at the start of a very long process.